What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today we have my very late video discussion over Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5 episode 14. Yeah, no, I'm very late on this video. I meant to have it like two days ago or, or I think, yeah, I think it came out about Tuesday or Wednesday around so when this episode was subtitled. And uh, just been really busy with a lot of stuff. I recorded a bunch of videos for you guys though, last couple of days, a lot of openings, so, you know, I guess that uh, you guys don't mind that then. Uh, also, before we get started with the review, uh, the Bonds Around Time movie came out recently. I went ahead and got it, and I was like, eh, I might as well get it. I know it's probably not the best movie or whatever. I heard, you know, a lot of people say negative stuff about it. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of fun to watch and stuff, too. So, you know, I enjoyed our, uh, and, uh, yeah, you just kind of have to get it since, I mean, what is it, like, two years later? Something like that? And then we finally get it, so, you know, I just found it, and I decided to get the Blu-ray version, just because it's still cool to see Jaden, Yusei, and uh, Yugi duel together. Uh, anyway, let's get started. First off with this, uh, in this episode we have Yuya, he's all upset and everything because Riji, of course, had pendulum summoning and he's like, well, of course, I'm not the only one that's that's able to pendulum summon because he thought he was the only one and he thought that was just, you know, that was the way he could win duels. You know, they might have Xe summoning and all the others, but he had pendulum summoning. And seeing Rinji actually have that, it just kind of tore him up, you know, of course. And it, it's kind of one of those things that we've seen in plenty of other series. I mean, it's happened in original series all the way uh, throughout all the different series where it, there's always that moment where the main character kind of gets upset and then someone has to duel against them to get him out of it. And that's basically what happens in this episode. The uh, principal that's uh, that's of his school uh, duels against him on there and uses these uh, cards, I believe they're called Guts Masters or something like that. Yeah, and uh, they're based on sports and stuff. And it's a pretty cool little art type. I wonder if they'll ever get printed or anything. Uh, but he's doing his stuff, that's what he's saying, you need to get over it, basically, that other people, of course, are going to be paying on something, just like, you know, you're just, you were kind of one of the pioneers of it, but then, of course, others will also be playing, you won't be the only one, you know, everyone will start being able to pin on someone, but you're kind of more of the pioneer of it, and you can show people how to use these cards, and I thought it was a pretty cool message on that, and, uh, yeah, basically, in the duel, he's going easy on him, on a few things, uh, the principal even gets his pendulum monsters from him, and pendulum summons, um, and didn't attack. I mean, he could have won, of course. He had the field uh, full of his gut master cards, and he didn't go for the attack. Basically, uh, Yuya gets his cards back, and then he goes for his pendulum summon, brings out a bunch of his monsters, basically just powers up Odd Eyes, where he can attack all the gut master uh, cards and win the duel. Pretty simple duel. I mean, what was it? I think it was like four turns or something, but I thought it was kind of funny how he actually pendulum summoned and everything, and uh, didn't go for the win, because he just wanted to teach uh, Yuya a lesson, which, you know, is kind of cool. That's what even uh, Yuya's mom was saying, that uh, he couldn't become a pro, because uh, he thought there was more than just winning. So, that's it kind of shows that... Uh, the principal that they have is actually a pretty uh, cool guy and evidently uh, really good at teaching and stuff. So, you know, that seemed like a pretty cool message, I guess, for that. Uh, but yeah, like like I said, too, this is something we always see in all of them. I mean, I remember, and I kind of like this arc the most, that was in GX, where uh, uh, Jaden couldn't see his cards anymore after he lost to Aster. And I kind of thought that was, you know, kind of a cool arc on, on that, too, because basically kind of the same idea where he was all distraught because he, he lost and everything. And, uh, you know, kind of the same thing. I, like I said, I believe all the different uh, protagonists go through this, it seems like. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think about this episode? Unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot to talk about on this episode, really. And uh, there's a lot of airplanes going by, though. Hopefully you guys can't hear them. But, um... Uh, yeah, there's just not a there just wasn't a whole lot going on with this. Like I said, I think the duel was like four turns or something. Got to see a cool a couple of cool new cards that uh, you used in this, and of course that newer archetype of gut masters. But again, I'm kind of wondering if those will actually, you know, be printed or, or what on that. Uh, also, it looks like next episode it's going to be uh, we're going to start seeing uh, like a tournament, some duels where he's tr uh, Yuya's trying to become a pro, and evidently have to go through like a junior tournament to be able to become a pro on that. So looks pretty cool. I've heard uh, some stuff. We have a little bit of spoilers on there that the guy's going to be going against evidently is like a chef and uh, has like different food monsters. I don't know if those will be printed as well or, or what those are even about really. I, I try not to read too much ahead of it too because I kind of want to watch the episode and be kind of new to it and not just you know read ahead too much on different stuff. Um, but yeah, again, not much to talk about unfortunately, but uh, pretty cool episode, had a good message, and uh, so far I'm still enjoying the series. I can't wait for the next episode to kind of, you know, get to a tournament stuff, and I'm also, uh, again, uh, hoping that we're going to see some ritual monsters, and actually more people pendulum summoning, and I think that's going to happen, of course, the pendulum summoning, definitely, and uh, yeah, can we see what other uh, different cards and archetypes, and maybe even some other archetypes, uh, old archetypes that we like saw, uh, X-Sabers, Gem Knights, uh, and Constellars come back into the anime, and also get support in the actual card game too. 
Uh, tell me what you guys think about this episode, of course. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later and hopefully be uh, on time with the next uh, anime discussion. All right? Later, guys.